What up, this is Patrick Hayes. And in this video, I wanna talk about how to know if you are a human energy drain. Oftentimes, people that have good intentions are still energy vampires and not knowing it. So I wanna talk about some of the ways that people more subtly suck energy without actually knowing it, even when they have really good intentions, even when it's about positive energy, because there can actually be positive energy vampires too. In other words, people that are, that, are, that are looking to take positive energy as opposed to create negative energy in somebody to, to drain their energy, but are actually looking to steal unintentionally positive energy from people in order for them to feel okay about themselves, in order for them to feel better. So what I wanna start with is a lot of people are really familiar with negative energy drains where somebody is trying to get attention from you or trying to get a reaction out of you that dumps your energy like so you lose your energy so very often times it's like pulling somebody into their drama somebody's trying to pull you into their dramatic situation and or get pity from you so telling you how you know everything's so difficult for them they can like suck pity from you or trying to provoke a particular negative uh, reaction in you. They might be trying to irritate you, might try, be trying to make you frustrated, they might try to make you look bad, they might insult you, they might do all these different things so that you get frustrated and give your energy up. But essentially, there's, there's two different things. People are either looking for attention or they're looking for a reaction of some sort, right? You can kind of break it up into those categories. So this is quite obvious when somebody is, is stealing energy in like a negative way. But what a lot of people don't realize is there can actually be positive energy vampires too. So one of the most obvious things is uh, an attention whore. Somebody that just needs all the attention all the time. And a lot of people notice this and it gets irritating. Um, but somebody that's basically like, look at me. Um, I often call them one-way streets. When you try to communicate with them, they're a one-way street. It's just all about what's going on with them and they just want you to listen to them. And I've even had situations where people it seemed like they didn't actually even care if I listened. They just wanted me to pretend like I'm listening. They just want to like talk at something. And like I said, this is one of the more obvious ones, but it's a real thing, you know? People might be showing you all of their achievements. They might be talking about good things. They might be talking about uplifting things. And this is where it can actually bleed into this other thing that is another common way that people steal energy that other people might not be actually aware of. And this is like the savior complex. And this is where Somebody is walking around trying to help people. So they're going about their life trying, you know, maybe they might want to be a healer, they might be giving advice, whatever it is. They're trying to help other people, but it's actually more about them helping other people and being this identity of somebody that helps other people than it is actually about helping the person. And another one I want to talk about that's really common is I call it like the sleazy car salesman comic. And this is someone that is essentially looking for attention and is trying to get laughs out of other people. So what they're sharing seems like positive vibes. And it is positive vibes, except for there's this tinge of like taker inside of it. But it's basically somebody that's scanning the field and looking for jokes and trying to make light of situations and have fun with things. But actually they're more trying to get laughs from other people than they're actually just trying to lift the vibes. It's oftentimes from people that don't feel very secure or feel like in order for them to feel valuable they need to create some sort of laughter in other people or create some sort of uh, big positive response in other people so oftentimes you'll see it'll be a situation where the person will um, will only be half listening to whoever's speaking but they're kind of like scanning looking for a joke to make you know and they make the joke and then they look at you and they're looking around at all the people to see who's laughing at the joke and there's this kind of like taker energy because really what it's about is it's about them getting a positive response from other people even though demonstratively it may look like the person is just trying to make a joke and trying to make everyone laugh and they might do really funny stuff it might actually be funny so it's not like it's totally negative vibes it's not like it's totally bad but you can still feel on the undertone when somebody's doing it because they desperately need a laugh and they're trying to take versus when they're actually just trying to add fun to the situation so my hope is that we can all look at ourselves when we hear these things and it's not always just about like oh is someone else doing this is someone else doing this but sometimes i demonstrate it or i express it in that way so that it's a little bit less more a little bit less intrusive so my hope is that we can all look at this and we can not only observe this in other people we can observe it in ourselves too we can observe when there's this aspect of ourselves that feels like we need attention or we need even if it's positive attention or if we have good intentions for the world or for other people we can be aware of well when we're we're being needy in that way like we need them 
to do better and we need to help them do better in order for us to feel okay about ourselves or we're getting some sort of feed off of that or we need other people to laugh in order for us to feel okay. So even though on one sense we could tell ourselves that we're doing things to share good vibes and I'm just joking around and I'm just playing around that we can actually be aware of that aspect of ourself that may be trying to take there and not just be in a giving frame. My goal for this video is to draw our attention to that so that we can just clean up on the inner space what um, what our goals are as, as a human and maybe be aware of some of those areas where we might be being needy and then also have the discernment so we can see that in other people so maybe in some way we can uh, stop feeding them so that they come to the realization that um, in order to create a planet or a dynamic or a group of friends or whatever it is, a family that is really nurturing to each other, we have to be coming from a place of wanting to share, right? As opposed to wanting to take. Um, now it's okay to have reciprocal relationships and have an understanding there, but really um, be conscious about when we're in a space where we want, where we're trying to take and be conscious when other people are in a space of where they're trying to take and then preferentiate to a kind of giving frame. So thanks so much for tuning in. This is Patrick Hayes. Like, subscribe, share with your friends. If this video was useful to you, please share it with someone else that you think it may be useful to also. And I'm super stoked to continue sharing awesome content with you. So until next time, Patrick Hayes, one love.